Greetings and salutations everyone. Welcome back to more Ox Must Die. Previously, I tried multiple times at the stream and kept on game perfect. So from this point on, I'm not going to worry about game perfect. This time, we're going to Sludge Hole. What? Don't we want to help push trap? The rumor is oh, the last room time was Sludge Hole. Whoopsies. I wonder how many are left to hold. Yeah, this time is Chaos Chamber, which this has finally unlocked us the Weavers. Um, I pressed. I was a lousy teacher, but he was the worst kind of student. Dim-witted, foolish, and too stubborn to focus on the fundamentals. That's why the Order paired us up. They sent their best and brightest to learn from other, more patient war mages. I got the bottom of the barrel. The joke's on them. Those brilliant young minds are dead, along with most of their masters. Slaughtered, trying to defend the rifts. The world is still doomed, of course. There aren't enough war mages left now. Though I laugh if the last one left standing. Is him. Aha! Uh -huh. I've made contact with the Order's Weavers on the far side of the rift. The Weavers have read all the old books. They should be able to hook me up with magic goodies. Yes, Maximilian has just said we've we unlocked Weavers. But let's get some trap sword first. Um, just trying to remember how to tackle this stage. We've got two. Big old corridors. Which, best way to tackle this down is one of those honestly push traps, so we're gonna try and focus on a push trap set up by Fiddus, I think. So we want tar traps, pushers, cleaners, barricades, archers. I think that's actually all we need. Oh, we're dealing with some new enemies during this. No hunters. They specifically just go after you. And they run really pretty fast. Now, after you have picked your thing, the traps, press in V will open up weavers. You can actually do multiple things. You can choose Knowledge Weaver, Spell Weaver, or Elemental Weaver. Knowledge Weaver is provides ability and combination improvements. Spell is traps and guardians, and elemental is improved for player weapons and skills. You can only choose one of your skill trees per level. And you can see all of the stuff they give you, but they cost gold for each upgrade, like 1900. Like, you get 5% of the mana, but I think it went from top to bottom, if I remember. You can gain a flame crossbow and holy sword, elemental weaver, proofs done area. The trap and guardians, orcs killed by traps and guardians, earn 66% more coins. This is what I'm going to go for, I think. And guardians have more health and will generate damage. All time traps are reset 20% faster. Pilot attacks, stun enemies. Elves gain flame miles and generate more combos. Um, piercing and kind traps add a bleed effect, which make enemies lose health over time, which is great. Both of the traps strong and also affect ogres, which is absolutely fantastic. For Knowledge Weaver, you can get one speed, which is always good. Headshot, um, creature accuracy. Yeah, my god, is a jade way to play as health. So they act like tiny, tiny whiffs, basically. Um, you can get trap kills to regenerate your mana bar, so you can do some more stuns, which is okay. Or spell curls earn 100% more coins. We can't really use that yet. But it's one to consider. Dead orc sometimes rise from the dead and fight for the player. Or rift gains a defensive lightning strike blade, which is, out, is always, always good. I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love this because the rift will shoot lightning when enemies get close to it. So sometimes rift can just protect itself. But for this one, we are going to go with the steel weaver because, well, I have so many things to show. More money basically 
Until later, I suppose. But that's all we're going to take for that. For that. And the door to go through first, I think, is the bottom one. If I'm correct, I hope it's the bottom one. Now, of course, you have another corridor over here. We just take. It takes longer for him to get down this corridor. And I think the two poles lead to the other. Yeah. I believe it's downstairs first, then upstairs. So the way I want to tackle this is I want enemies to go this will be right good. into a push trap. Like but yeah, they're coming through here first. And we do want to try to get 66% more coins because, well, you won't leave us to combo into each other quite well. Similar to traps. Of course, you only get one tree, so they always combo into each other. But at this point, you're going to be seeing the trap based one. Because, well, I mean, look at that. We're getting 66% more coins. You can cover this with some other stuff we'll get later on and make sure you have enough money to get to the end of a chapter. Because under the assumption that you play on easy, then go through the game on normal mode. Because, well, the thing I'm thinking of is one of the last traps we'd get. So, let's go with. This. Sometimes I almost this. feel bad for the orcs, except not really. And they're going to tackle upstairs next, so we're not going to get much money from this. But you can see the setup that I want to go for pretty much instantly. I want the same setup on both sides. They get pushed down into lava for the most part, and then with enough money, I can just I could just protect one entire route. The traps and the other we can just be focused with me myself. I think they alternate between each round, so I think it goes top, bottom, top, and bottom. That's what we was all skill trees have to own that defense. The best of my favorite is currently the one I'm using. As focused on getting money, but the first one is also great for just defending the way. But now let us get the sub that we want. The treat for you. That here, this here, this here. And there's a note which before we told us what they do, high damage wants straight for you. Also they ignore the barricades, now that I remember, but they're a good source of coins. Um, that, let's just get this down first. This, this. Then I want a flame trap here. Then I kind of want another one there, but eh. So coming from down here first. Let's see what goes on with this bit. Who is entering the rift? Oh my god. I feel dumb now. The flame trap is sent up straight into the bloody well. Ha! I've made contact with the Order's weavers on the far side of the rift. Yeah, the weavers have sense. read all the old books. They should be able to hook me up with magic goodies. Hey, can I get a little help? 
Of course, still gonna go with steel. It's about to get dark on you, decisive. I like that. Ugh, that's really annoying. So now we go with six, which this is this will is. Be good. Yes. Yes. They're breaking through. Which way now? Break some wool. Okay. What crossbow fire a thousand times a second? Can we get to the moon? Whoa, so great. Next up is that a tall trap here? All about that. Basically, I want the bottom path to be covered by traps, and the top path can be covered by me because it can be covered quite well. Just don't be stupid like I was. I think it was the flame trap, surprisingly, because it didn't start getting into the rift until the flame trap trigger stuff. So I think the flamers aren't a good idea. Headshot, headshot. And do that. that, that. No, stop it. And here we go. Let's do it again. We go to covering the bomb with it again because it's just always a nice thing to do. Or the other other lightning. And yeah, here we go. This could do quite well. Grab that, because they're like orcs in a way, they always give you extra money. Oh no! Nice. So now, what I want to do? I want to assume this place is covered. How about some but I'm not this? going to. I'm going to focus entirely for traps on this bottom floor. This'll hurt. So basically this part is almost completely done. I could probably go for spike traps though to be completely real. Although I don't have any spike traps. But I could do this. Checkable pile of tar traps, flinners, and pushers. Which could work out pretty nicely. Because it'll get slow, they'll get flown, and then they'll get pushed. So, as long as it clears area out, clear As long as it clears area out, fucking up. I could always just run back to the whip and cover the cover the path that you know has all the traps on it. So it's all good. Just need to get a good consistent combo of headshots going. Oh, that's gotta hurt. 
There we go. And bomb paths seem to be covered enough. I just get that all taken care of, just to be safe. This area is doing quite nicely. As you can see, they're being slow, they're getting pushed because the push traps have a weird sort of range on them. It's like one and a half, like one and a third tiles basically, so you can rely on tar traps to keep them in check. The top half I'm gonna go for classic funnel strat of arrow traps and tar traps. Only for this bit to be completely real because, well, it's all that really has to happen. So cool. Um. Oh, there's this guy left. He's about to die anyway, so. Sweet. I'm gonna get this here. And a tar trap a here. For you. And we might be on a no wave. No. That's okay. Basically, we have a ton of guys just waiting for you, but that's completely fine. They're being slowed, anyways, and being hit by fresh traps, so I don't even have to cover this path, but I'm going to, anyways, for just some safety. I need to get back up here. Do you even know somewhere? There he is. Okay, so yeah, I want this gnoll to see me and go for me. But this race is not gonna work out. Ah, two got through them. Ugh, it's really annoying, but I'm not gonna go for perfect. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm amazed at the game because I'm not. Even I can make mistakes. Um, what else can I get? All time traps are faster, which is good. Until later, I suppose. And we are going to get. This, that. Oh, here's a good one. Some new decorations. Followed by this. Yeah, we get a decent setup. At this point, you guys can see how much, like how good you have to be at the game in order to get five on every stage. The only stage I know of all five skills are normal is the final one, I think. I think that's just barely though, because I think it's the final way to miss one guy. One for the whiff. I mean, one for that whiff. Get him out of here. There's just this guy left. Um, as for how I want to tackle this, this, this. This. 
Yeah, should be fine with this. Yeah, in order to get the maximum amount of skulls, you have to not die and not have a single enemy make it into the left. Which is tricky in some cases. You practically have to be perfect with all of your headshots. So, for one final sort of setup, I want to get a couple archers just ready. Just get them ready to shoot some guys if need be. Of course, you want to kill them just quickly using the final upgrade that you have in is fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. Being able to just Push an ogre because why not? It's just always a good thing. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna lose the stage. If six more guys make it through, that's just it. Need to stop the whole class. Ah, this is where a slight ability could be fantastic though, because that would have killed them all. Before it could have really made an issue. Ugh. Get them going. He's left. Oh, it's just those guys up there. Let's go. What a mess. Yeah, that was way to go. Probably got two skulls on that, but obviously I can regain skulls. One. Yeah, that was really tough. And that was Chaos Chambers. A really fun stage. But next time we're going to go on to choke points. So I will see you guys then.